Howdy gamers! In this video, I'll be answering the following question. Is Texas a zero rarity operator? For me, zero rarity describes the group of most accessible operators. While I do have four rules for this, I'll just explain the first two as they're the only ones relevant to this video. My first criteria is that they must be obtainable without RNG. This disqualifies even some three stars like Cardigan as she is only obtainable from gacha pulls. This also disqualifies many of the robots, as they are only obtainable through recruitment. My second criteria is a little more complicated. Obtainable from any account state is my way of saying that it must be impossible to lock yourself out of obtaining the operator. Another way to think about this is that there's no but ifs. For example, you can get Project Red for free from the voucher all new players get, but if you chose Liz Carm instead, you have to get her through RNG. So now on to Texas. What makes Texas special is that she can be obtained through the pinboard missions. A few of the pinboard missions are problematic to complete for zero rarity. The first problematic mission is the one to perform recruitment, as this will likely result in obtaining an RNG-only operator. Not a problem for people playing normally, but it is an issue for me as I want to keep my account zero rarity as much as possible. Fortunately, you can start and then cancel recruitment to get credit. This allows me to perform recruitment without issue. The next hurdle comes from the Phase 4 mission to use an expedited plan. The cancel trick isn't an option since expedited plans remove the option to cancel recruitment. My solution has just been to not collect the operator, so I have been haunted by the recruitment done symbol for months now. Phase 6 presents a much more substantial issue. The mission to collect all members of three factions seems hard if not impossible to do. The developers obviously intended players to complete this by using Op Reserve A4 or Op Reserve A6, as they're basically guaranteed to be obtained for anyone doing recruitment and HUD hunting. However, Zero Rarity doesn't afford those opportunities. The deal breaker for Op Reserve A4 is that Cardigan can only be obtained through gacha pulls. The deal breaker for Op Reserve A6 is that Catapult and many others in the group are only obtainable through RNG as well, so both violate the no RNG clause. The Sami faction, however, does seem completable. Well, at least it did when I originally wrote this script. More on that soon. Babique is obtainable through contingency contracts, Gitano is obtainable through the 4-star voucher from the green certificate shop, and the last one, whose name I can't pronounce, is a red certificate shop operator. So when I originally wrote this script, the Sami faction could be completed without RNG and from any account state. My main issue was that I felt that the faction was still against the spirit of Zero Rarity, and this is because factions do, and this faction did, change. While writing the script, the CN server got two new operators that are members of the Sami faction. So the Sami faction probably requires RNG now in the CN server, and well in the global server as well. To make the faction even more tenuous, I found out that CC12 should be the last contingency contract. While I expect that there will probably be a way to obtain Babik after CC12, it does make the faction even more of an issue. So in conclusion, Texas is not a zero rarity operator. The intended way to complete the pinboard missions requires RNG, and the Sami faction looks like it'll be gaining RNG operators soon. So with that, this video is over. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.